Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Adiva, and welcome back to another episode of The Soulful Homemaker. So, y'all, we are going on our first road trip with baby girl. Really? Is this our first road trip together? No, this may be our second or third road trip, like me and my lord, but it's our first road trip with Alina. Unfortunately, I can't sit in the back because there's a lot of stuff back there. Um, but I would be sitting back there with her, but look we getting her set up y'all can see the mirror super excited it's been a minute since i've done a vlog so i'm really really excited about that it's only like a day trip no it's not a burning turn i feel like a day trip is when you go and then come right back <clears throat> we probably won't be back till tomorrow evening but i'm super excited hubby has some work to do for his job um in midland texas the middle of nowhere i feel like but um yeah he let us come along so we'll probably be in the hotel for a little minute me and alina while he's doing work but i'm perfectly fine with it. i bought her plenty of toys we are about to stop and get breakfast and get her like snacks and stuff so she can be good um but yeah so y'all come along this road trip is gonna be so fun y'all we're stopping to get breakfast Every time we get in this car, Alina has to go to the bathroom. Every single time. Thank you. Hey guys, so let me pull this dress up. Y'all probably thinking I ain't got no clothes on and do. <laughs> Cause we keep it modest. But I'm walking into HEB. I'm gonna get Alina some snacks. Um, and my Lord needs like some body wash and travel size deodorant. So that is what we're doing. Hey y'all, I was in front of some people that was moving with, oh my gosh, I did not know that this H-E-B had all the, the um, Tree Hut since, like, I don't know if y'all know this, but Tree Hut now has, and it's cheaper than Target. Oh, my nail, y'all, my nail is on the verge of coming off. That hurt. Oh, the pink hibiscus? I'm gonna have to get it. And I want the pink hibiscus lotion. Mm -hmm, it smells so good. So I currently am rocking the Moroccan rose, which is really good because I've been into the Indian, Arabian, not Indian, Arabian perfumes, and it pairs really well. I'm gonna have to show y'all that whenever we get to the hotel. general store i love country living it is so country out here there go bob the owner of the general store i want to go in there but this ain't the type of truth in one and a half miles turn right into us 183 like that only, son. oh my gosh be quiet historical marker and this back this church just want to show y'all the general store though. Y'all look at this girl. She got the dang purse on her leg. Help us Lord, help us. This is her third time going number two. Okay guys, I probably look really crusty and crazy. Okay y'all, so we just... Okay y'all, so we just got to the hotel in midland texas literally as i thought it, it feels like the middle of nowhere but um i was reaching out to a sister friend that i know that stays not too far from here and she was giving us some um look at alina back there me baby she was giving us some places that we can go like out to eat for breakfast and dinner we typically only eat breakfast and dinner we've had breakfast today it's 4 35 um i'm about hungry again but It'll probably be like after five, close to six before I actually get something to eat. So, um, yeah, me and Alina will probably be hanging out in the hotel because 
daddy um gotta go work which is fine that's what i knew we would be doing um but yeah we just made it uh yeah <laughs> the road the ride here was really nice like i really enjoyed just talking with my lord and we listened to 2006 music 2007 and 2008 music literally i went on itunes and pulled up a playlist for those eras and that's what we listened to so we kind of you know went back as far as like memory lane when we were in a high school middle school stuff like that um very nostalgic and we just talked but yeah he just went in there to check in um i'm really curious to see this hotel room this is the room or this is the hotel that his job paid for us to come to or pay for him to come to <laughs> and i went and looked at the reviews and it was kind of up and down like there were some really good reviews but there were some really bad reviews as well like equal amount and i'm kind of nervous because the bad reviews had pictures the good reviews did not so i'm a little nervous because um at the end of the day this is what his job paid for um so i don't you know it's like it's not like we can go somewhere else um I mean we could if we wanted to spend the money I'm sure but we ain't trying to spend the money we ain't trying to spend the money he already had to come out of pocket for the rental and for gas they're gonna reimburse him and I think honestly that's kind of crazy <coughs> so I think that's kind of crazy that he had to come out of pocket I feel like the company should have like a company card to wear because this is something their employees do um not often often but like at least once every couple of months at least the employees have to travel to different um clinics if y'all don't know i feel like i've never talked about this but my lord some of y'all may know this because i probably have talked about it i just don't talk about it frequently my lord works in the it field he works um cyber security stuff like that and well really just it in general but um the company he works for there's a bunch of different clinics all over texas He's gonna go check out the hotel first because if it looks like crap, he's gonna ask for. It. Why do I just feel like I look smug What's going on? I feel so smug. Like my face is so dry and I've moisturized it so many times. I have really dry skin for those of y'all who don't know. Did I even bring my skincare? Mm, I don't think I bought a lot of skincare. I think I may have brought like a face wash. <laughs> Gosh. Anyway, um. He's going to go check out the room because if it's not in good condition, there's no point in us even going up, he said. That's that's what they said. And I'm in compliance 100%. Um, but when we, pat, well, like, coming here, we accidentally missed our exit. So it added another 11 minutes when we were, like, two minutes away. And I saw, like, a, a Domino's. We, I saw Chick-fil-A. I saw a couple of different things so i don't know like i feel like we're gonna probably just do something like that we can get at home but i really wanted to like go somewhere that like they don't have back in austin but i don't know i don't know y'all i really need to get my nails redone it's been like a month over a month like a month and a half these nails when i tell you they stay in they sticking beside me but they're so raggedy i have to find a new nail shop I had a really nice nail shop that I was going to when we stayed in Austin. And now that we moved, I just, I don't know. I have to find somewhere. Because the place that I went to get these, I do not like them. Like, now granted, I know it's been months. But why does this, like, this nail is shaped so funny. I don't like it. But anyway, I feel like I'm such a chatterbox right now. <sighs> yeah, it literally looks like we're in the middle of nowhere. Let me show y'all there's a lot of like like and i cleaned the windows when we stopped to get gas there's like a lot of guts from the bugs but let me roll down the window i'm gonna roll down the window so y'all can see it looks like we're literally in the middle of nowhere literally y'all let me do a little tour for you guys so you walk in to my left is the kitchen little kitchen area 
was not expecting this this is cute um i did not prepare to cook though uh, it's not too bad it's a little fridge in here i don't know what that is it's a picture of something freezer that's a full-size fridge i'm not used to not used to seeing a full-size fridge in a um hotel i guess the hotel that i've been to this is a little closet off to the right <sighs> mirror come over here's the room i mean the yeah the room that's a nice desk area table l-shaped table with the tv here's the bed we're gonna sleep real nice tonight <laughs> Oh, y'all, I'm finna sanitize, by the way. A little chair. And then this is the bathroom. This is not bad. Um, I like the shower. I didn't bring shower shoes. And here I am. And yeah, I'm just gonna sanitize. I'm gonna set y'all up while I do that. I really don't trust that they be washing these. This must be rust. Okay, guys. <laughs> I don't want her on these floors. But we just got done eating. And we are about to get into bed and chill out. Probably watch some TV. <laughs> Cuddle, that type of thing. But I did want to do like a little haul because I told y'all I was going to do a haul. Y'all, I, I don't know why I keep playing these games. I know the girlies be on like the, uh, what is it called? Press-ons and gel X, basically in the business of doing nails themselves. I just can't because I've tried and I just don't have it in me. Like when I say I don't have it in me, I don't mean like I'm not willing to spend the time. You're faking. I just literally, I'm not talented in that aspect. Hope y'all. Not talented in that aspect, so it just could never be me. But one thing's for sure, I could do the actually I could do press ons, like the simple press ons with the glue, that type of thing. But as far as like getting the kit and drilling my nails and stuff like that, no, because I'm a lefty and it's very awkward for me to do certain things with my right hand. I can do some things, but certain things with my right hand, it's like a no, a complete <laughs> no. Let's let's get your passy. Okay, your toy. You need a diaper change. Yeah, I'm gonna change your diaper after I show y'all. But yeah, basically, this, I think I told y'all in the car, but this nail is lifting up really, really bad. And because it's gel X, y'all know gel X is like really, really hard to take off. It's lifting up, so every little thing I do, it li like, look, if I barely tap my damn nail, it lifts up, but it hurts so bad. I need like some some nail clippers i might door dash some nail clippers i'm not even kidding because this hurts um <laughs> it hurts like really bad so what i came here for to show y'all what we got from the store for our road trip really i was hoping to like do this in the car but it was just so claustrophobic and <laughs> it was claustrophobic i was feeling claustrophobic it was very um, tight in the car, but actually it's a lot more room than if we had a drove in our car. We had to get a rental 
I think I told y'all that as well because my Lord had, I was telling y'all how my Lord had to come out of pocket for the rental. Oh. But they're going to reimburse him. But the car is a lot bigger than our car. But I, just, I don't know. I just was feeling like, okay, we're not doing this here. We're not doing this now. So here we are, hours. And when I say hours, I mean like, what time is it? It's like six o'clock, seven o'clock, almost seven o'clock. And we left the, the house. We went to H-E-B around like, 11 ish so it's like a long time later but we're here i'm gonna show y'all what i got so we first thing we had to do the most most important thing we had to do was get lena snack she's probably finna turn up because she knows what they look like even though she just ate girl you're not getting this we got her some serenity kids grain-free puffs these are um passover friendly by the way both of these snacks are these are the carrot and beet and then we also got her the little the lesser evil will puffs y'all have seen me talk about these multiple on multiple occasions especially if you follow me on instagram this is the intergalactic voyage veggie blend she wants some so i'm just even though she just ate she ate like half a chicken strip a couple of fries and, a, and an apple slice which i personally feel like that's enough but I know that she 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 knows what's going on and I'm not finna tease her like this. Um and it's not like she just had a whole bunch of food today. Because we're traveling, she really didn't have much. She had like her pouchies. She had a like a good amount of pouchies, which they have some good nutrition, but y'all know if you don't if them things that's like a snack when they get to this age. Okay, here. Oh gosh. And you're not getting nothing else tonight but your milk okay so her snacks then we got some pouchies these are the pouchies that she gets um these are the heb organic uh baby pouches oh that was ac i thought it was raining i'm like what's going on but this is the carrot apple mango so i got her two of these we uh, let me get all the pouches out first i don't want to be all over the place even though i'm already all over the place so then I got her the apple blueberry spinach. I try to only get her the ones that have vegetables in them. All of them have fruit, but there's only a select few that actually includes like green vegetables. So this is the apple blueberry spinach, apple blueberry green pea, and then banana kiwi spinach oatmeal. And then like I said, the carrot apple mango now this one doesn't have a green vegetable but it does have carrots in it and the ones that have oatmeal i guess there's only one left that has oatmeal <laughs> i like to give her these if i'm not like able to get her like some cooked food because they have more calories this has like 90 calories so if i give her like this one and then one of the ones that have like 60 calories she good and then I give her milk too. So I went ahead and got the H-E-B brand. She only drinks half of this in a sitting. She can drink a full one in a day, but I only give her like five ounces of this at a time. It's 11.58, 11.28 fluid ounces. So I give her like a little bit more than five ounces in one sitting. And literally moments after she drank this, she went to the bathroom. So y'all, she is literally just chilling in her car seat stroller car seat her duna eating her snacks so then i also got her some apple juice this helps with her bowel movements of course i dilute it with a little water um she drinks prune juice as well but i didn't bring it we just got apple juice we got a pack of like six of these there is one in the car and then i drink one the hubby drink one there's one in the car i drink one the hubby drink one Alina had one. And then two left. What else do we have? Oh, I got Hubby some snacks. So I got him some. These are really good. I mean, he likes them. His brother loved them when he was here. I can't even because y'all know I'm allergic to nuts. But these are the pistachio. Oh, yeah. By H-E-B. And they're the flavor chili lime. I'm gonna have to hurry up because my battery is going dead. And then we got him some beef jerky, jalapeno beef jerky. Just some like car ride snacks. Um, he also got some sunflower seeds, but they're in the car. Um, I left 
them in the car just in case he wanted them while he's out. I don't know how long he's going to be at the clinic. The clinic is only like six minutes away from here. So <sighs> really happy about that. And so then we got him the Harry's body wash. I didn't know what scent he would like. So I went ahead and got the stone and the with Wildlands. These are the travel size ones. They both smell good to me. And then we got him some travel size deodorant. Old Spice. He loves Old Spice. This is in the scent Swagger. And then I got like a little bottle cleaner. I only bought one, you know, one sippy cup. So <laughs> anyway, I, I needed one of these because she be drinking chocolate milk. And it be getting all up in the, like her, the spout where she drinks out of. So yeah. And what else? Oh, we got some hand wipes, some antibacterial hand wipes for her, which I need these for my purse anyway, because Alina... She is a whole toddler now, and, like, she be picking up food and putting it in her mouth. She be touching stuff, and it's like, girl, your hands. I literally was thinking the other day, I was like, it's time to start washing her hands. Like, it probably been time to start washing her hands, but, like, I literally need to start putting her up at the sink and washing her hands because she touches everything. So, we got her some hand wipes. I did get some antibacterial wipes, the Lysol wipes that y'all saw me wiping down the room with. And then I got some of these. Um, I really just got them just to have in my purse. These are the Summer Eve Simply Sensitive um, Daily Gentle Cloths. I feel like these are good to keep in your purse as a lady and just, you know, to have. So I'm going to put those in my purse. And then y'all saw me get the Pink Hibiscus. I have the... Um, the tree hut moroccan rose i was telling you on the store i have that um i have it in the body wash and then i have it in the body butter i wanted to try out the moisturizing body lotion i typically am a body butter type of girl i just feel like it really sinks into my skin but i want to try out the lotion and see how the tree hut body lotion is so i got that with this i love to match my scents and i was telling y'all I don't feel like getting it right now. But I got this new perfume from TikTok Shop. And it's an Arabian perfume. And I just feel like it pairs so well with the Moroccan rose from Tree Hut. The scrub. Y'all know how they, they started with the scrub. And now they have the body wash, the body butter, and the body lotion. So I bathed with the uh, Moroccan rose. And then I put on the body butter by the Moroccan rose. By, well, by Tree Hut in the scent Moroccan rose. And then I um, spray the Arabian perfume and y'all, my Lord be like, whoa, every time, every time. I just got it like a week ago, but I literally have been wearing it every single day in the house. I don't be going nowhere, but he really, he was like, he don't want me wearing it outside the house. <laughs> I thought he was joking. Almost like a seductive. Why does this water look so cloudy, bug? Hmm. I'm going to pour this out and give you. Yeah, he said the scent is it's um it's a little seductive in his opinion. I think it smells really good. It's like a um I think it must just be the bottle because it's still looking kind of cloudy. But I think it's uh I don't think it's seductive, but obviously whatever my aura says goes. Uh but to kind of let y'all in on like what it smells like, I'm not good at describing notes, but I feel like it it's soft and it, it does have like a powder undertone it's not like extremely powdery but you can smell like some hints of powder and it's a little sweet mm -mm. I don't, yeah i'm gonna just stop there because i don't want to get the wrong notes but those for sure sweet and a little powder but it's something that i've never smelled before i'm definitely going to go back and get more arabian perfumes because they're amazing but yeah, y'all, that's everything we got. Oh, and then I realized that I only got brought one of Alina's bibs. She has a bunch of Muslim. Sit back, mama. She has a bunch of Muslim bibs, Muslim bibs that literally go in this little grocery haul. But yeah, I got her some bibs because I forgot her Muslim bibs at home. So I got her a pack of six bibs. They're so cute. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> This little girl won't go to sleep, y'all. It's literally, it's like almost midnight. Y'all, I got the clippers. My forehead is so dry. I got the clippers. So we are in business. Whereas when we get back home, I can get my nails done. Something really simple and short. 
But um, this girl here, <laughs> she has been, <laughs> she has been up three, at least three times. I would say about four, because she got up once when my lord was gone, and then she's been up about three times since he's gotten back. She just can't sleep. She's not used to this. Usually, like, when she goes to sleep, it's in her room or in our room. And it's extremely quiet and dark. So, she don't know. Say hi. Can you wave? Oh, <laughs> <you> stinky girls. <laughs> it's my baby. Hey, okay, y'all. Um, we'll probably go down and get breakfast tomorrow. Well, at least I will. I don't know if... She finna turn off the camera. Maybe he'll go with me, though, before he goes to the clinic. He gotta go back to the clinic um, to do one last thing. And then we're going back home. <sighs> I really enjoy myself. It feels like a little getaway. Even though I have not done anything but be in a hotel. But anyway, it's just, I love, like, getting away. What are you doing? Mm, but yeah, okay, y'all. We finna call it a night. Say bye bye. Right? Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Can you say bye bye? You chewing it with your hands. <laughs> Not a Chick Fil A waffle on the floor in the hospital room. <sighs> okay mommy you got a temperature you've never had a temperature like that good morning guys it is the next day i guess we'll say the last thing y'all saw we went to the emergency room elena has covid <laughs> like i don't know any way any other way to break it to y'all but elena has covid so I'm just packing up the room. It's like probably close to 10. Checkout is at 11. My Lord had to go to um, the clinic, get back to the clinic to do one last thing. Um, our trip is basically, you know, the one and done, which is okay. It's perfectly fine. Um, I'm, I'm not mad. I just. Unfortunately, this vlog, like, <laughs> this vlog is over because we going back home. We probably all have COVID. But, um, so last night, my Lord came back to the room around like 9 o'clock, between 9 and 10. And all these receipts in my wallet. And, um, Everything was cool, like, Alina, I let her stay up, because I was trying to put her to sleep. So I was like, you know what, your daddy's almost here. I know how she is when she see her daddy, extremely excited. So I let her stay up until he got here. Um, he got here, and suspected she was super excited to see him, as if she hadn't seen him in, in ages. <laughs> she doesn't get like that with me. Maybe because she sees me all the time. But... I'm whispering because I don't want to wake her up. We had a very late night or a late morning or a little and a very early morning. But, um, yeah, so he gets in. She's super excited to see him. Shortly after he gets in, we decide to put her to bed or put her try to put her back to bed because she had fallen asleep at like 7.30 and she kept waking up. She woke up like two or three times before well, she woke up twice before he got here. Then he got here. We put her back to sleep. She woke up like two more times. So around close to 2 a.m., I, I heard her like kind of being a little fussy in her sleep, which is normal for her. She tends to, not every night, 
but a lot of nights she will get a little antsy and fussy in her sleep. So um, I'm pretty sure I have COVID. Y'all hear me sniffing? Anyway, I heard her getting antsy in her sleep, so I'm like, okay, let me touch her forehead. That's just that's just my little rundown when dealing with her fussiness even though it's a common thing she's teething um it's just something i do been doing just to make sure like okay she's good <laughs> so i touch her forehead and her body and i'm like she's hot because i don't know to me she was hot my lord was like she's fine she's been hot like, no i really think she's hot babe so I think we went back to sleep and that may have been before too because then around two is when i was like no and then like i saw her shaking um and so i was like babe no you know we gotta go like i ordered a um well first i ordered a thermometer off of doordash because i'm like okay let me make sure i'm not tripping that was the first time she woke up or not the first time she woke up but that was the first time when I felt her she was warm because I remember we went back to sleep so the first time I felt her she was warm I'm like let me order a thermometer go back to sleep maybe 30 minutes later I'm like no she's shaking like she's shaking and she's hot so um the thermometer hadn't even got here yet um that's how I know it has only been like 30 minutes in between um so I'm like, babe, she's shaking. Let's take her. Better safe than sorry. Maybe I am tripping because, like I said, he was like, I don't, she seems fine. I'm like, maybe I am tripping, but better safe than sorry. Let's take her. So he noticed the shake too. He's like, okay, yeah, let's go. So we get her packed up. Um, we're literally walking outside the door, and the DoorDash guy is dropping off the thermometer. <laughs> Like, hey. and we grab the thermometer from him he's all trying to have a full conversation oh who's sick and blah, blah 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 my lord you can tell my lord was just like he was being polite and answering his question but it, it's like dude leave us alone like cause he was just doing the most kind of oh who's sick and yeah oh I'm sorry I need to take a picture of it which I get it I have friends who work for DoorDash I can understand you have to take a picture <laughs> I'm gonna try to get her to go back down. Okay, she's up. But, um, yeah, so, <sighs> long story short, get in the car, shoot to the hospital. You want something to drink? Let me get your cup. but last night like I could not get her to drink anything and she's been acting her f normal self for the most part but she has been fussy a little fussy you don't want to hold your cup mama you want mommy to hold it um let me put her down in her uh, seat. I'm so glad that she's drinking because last night like I really could not get her to drink like that um well early this morning <laughs> so okay so now I can actually talk. I look crazy, I know. But we get in the elevator. We gotta share the elevator with the DoorDash guy. He's still talking. Um, we get in the car. We mix our exit to the um, hospital. <laughs> that was a little frustrating. So we finally get to the hospital, go in. Of course, initially their customer service womp. I feel like it's whatever hospital. It doesn't even matter what hospital you go to. I feel like that's just typically the customer service of healthcare. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. I work in healthcare, so yeah. Anyway, oh, by the way, one of my sister friends actually worked at the hospital, so she was able to like look and see. She's like, it's not that busy. You want some more? Want more? Hold on, y'all. Here, let me see. Here, let me see your cup so I can give you more. Like I said, I have a sister friend that lives here in Midland. So she's like, um, yeah, it's slow. I'm able to see. Hopefully they can get y'all in. 
quick. They got us in pretty quick. They gave her rectal temp because it's the most accurate. By the way, we checked her temperature in the car once we got it from the DoorDash guy. It was like 100, and it was steady going up. But once I saw it was 100, I was like, I suspect that she has a temperature. I didn't even continue to let it read. I was just like, I knew she had a temperature. So we got to the hospital. They did a rectal temp. They saw us like five minutes in. Um, five minutes into waiting. They gave her a rectal temp. She hated it. We went to a room. Then they came in and... What did they do after the rectal temp? Oh, they gave her some medicine. They gave her some Tylenol. Gave her Tylenol. Um, then they came back in and swabbed her nose. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> she was, it was, it was a mess. She, at that point, she was over it. She was crying over it. So then the doctor comes in. He's like, yeah, she does have a temperature. That usually means some type of viral infection. Um, she could have a UTI. It could be this. It could be that. Um, we did. Did we, he asked, he was like, did, did we take, um, you know, a swab for COVID and all that? And we're like, yes. So he's like, okay, well, that takes about an hour. We'll be back to check in with you um, in about an hour. So they come back in and she got COVID. So I was not expecting that. Of all things, the... I'm about to make you breakfast, mama. The last thing I think I was expecting was COVID. Um, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's not the end of the world. But <clears throat> I will say, like, initially, like, just me keeping it 100% real with y'all, I'm, I'm cool now, and I feel like I did a decent job at keeping my cool throughout this process. But it was her shaking for me that, like, it was just like, all right, uh, uh, what's going on with my baby? Like, I don't, I don't like this at all. Um, and then like my sister, her daughters have histories of having seizures. Um, and they're, they're typically due to fevers. Like they never really had, I've never heard of them having a seizure, um, like just randomly, but Y'all, she's never has Gerber. She had Gerber when she was in, like newborn, but I was like, I just need her to eat something, like other than these pouches. <laughs> so I'm about to make her some oatmeal. But yeah, that's pretty much the story time. Um, I'll just pour some water. He did say not to like really give her dairy, which that makes sense, you know, dairy causes a lot of mucus to build up. I'm getting it hot, baby. I'm, I gotta warm it up. But I'm about to give her some oatmeal. I just put some of the carrot, apple, mango pouchy in it. I'm gonna heat it up because I, I want her to have warm food. She's gonna have to holler. Um, but I just want to come and give y'all a little story time. I may check back in with y'all. It just depends on how things are going. Um, I am currently, I'm gonna have to check back in with y'all because I need to give y'all another little update. As far as when y'all will see me after this vlog, is going to be a little bit of time. Um, and I did want to just let y'all know that because this will become a thing each month where for a week y'all won't see me. So it's just something that I need to do to make sure that like my goals are aligning with what the Most High wants and is requiring of me. I want to make sure that I'm practicing what I preach. You know, I'm a homemaker. I preach homemaking and caring for your family. And it's just like... There's certain things that keep happening within my life that are like eye openers. And I'm just like, I don't like it. I don't like it. Like, for instance, and it's, this is something really small. That's why I don't really mind sharing it. But like us coming here, it's just so many things that like, I feel like I wasn't fully prepared. Um... Like, why didn't I have a thermometer? And I mean, like I said, these are little minute things and y'all are like, sis, we forget stuff all the time. I get it. I'm not saying that, you know, anything is wrong. You want more? Okay, well, you gotta move your hand, mama. I'm not saying anything is wrong with me forgetting, but 
I didn't even have Tylenol. I just feel like, and then her getting sick, it's like, are you okay? Yeah, okay, y'all. So, like I said, with her getting sick, Stuff like this makes me <laughs> sad and it just made me like, it's not that I feel like I'm doing anything like wrong, but it's stuff like this. Like her shaking. Oh, hey, Hubby is shaking out of the hotel. Alina's doing good. Temp has went down, like I said earlier. She ate breakfast as y'all saw. She has her little toy we got her a toy last night um at um walgreens getting her some fresh air that's another thing that my doula friend said to do was make sure she gets a lot of fresh air so we're outside right now waiting for my lord um we're gonna head back we'll probably stop and get breakfast i'm definitely gonna be making soup for the next couple of days because i know we're all sick i know it and i mean this is not me trying to like um, you know, be a Debbie Downer or whatnot, but my Lord is already sniffing, so it's just like, I know it, and my stomach hurts a little bit, I don't know if that's a symptom, but she's in a good mood right now, so I'm very happy about that, I feel like she'll sleep pretty good in the car, let me let y'all see her, <laughs> I know y'all be wanting to see y'all niece, here she is, with all her toys, <laughs> Self. I love her so much, y'all. I'm glad that, you know, she seems to be doing okay. Just have to monitor, um, monitor her. Okay, y'all, so we are getting ready to head back home. We are stopping at the Valley, Cur the Valley Grub. But I got a torta. I got the torta asada. And I'm super excited. <laughs> Man, you can't get authentic stuff like this um and also i mean you can but yeah anyway i'm super excited alina is being silly she put her toy on her head on her head on her head you put your stuffy on your head oh my gosh oh my gosh she's not even playing with me right now but anyway i'll let y'all see my food when i get it Y'all, look at this torta. <laughs> Thank you. It uh, looks so good. Look at your, um, show them yours. Hot dog. He got a loaded hot dog. <laughs> that is terrible. That is big boy stuff. <laughs> and then let's see your fries. Oh, you say you don't want to show them all that? I ain't gonna show them all that. Ah! Okay, y'all, so <laughs> stopped at Starbucks. I literally spotted the Starbucks a mile away. 50,000 trees. Like, uh, babe, right? It was literally like a mile away. And it was hiding behind the trees. And I'm, I had been looking for what? <laughs> oh, Lord, it's so confused at how I spotted it. But I'm trying the Ice Grande Lavender Matcha. I got two pumps of vanilla and a pump of chai. Let's see. Oh man. You said old man? They did they big one. Not the little one with this. That freaking <laughs> oh, babe. He not gonna like this. I'm not even gonna let him try it. But the the lavender uh cold foam. home i made some homemade chicken soup okay i'm gonna give you more okay hey y'all so she's eating her cracker i gave her two crackers this is her first time eating a cracker and she's doing a really good job but i made some homemade chicken noodle soup i'm gonna come back in a little bit and talk to y'all because honey it's a lot to talk about before we end this vlog okay lena okay i know y'all can probably barely see me I wanted to come and close out the vlog and talk to y'all a little bit. So, my Lord is feeling 
really, really bad. He had a temperature. He had body aches and body chills. Like, really bad. So, I'm taking care of two sick babies. My babies. Um... just heard a strange noise but um <sighs> Alina is stuffy now that's something that the doctor said <sighs> would more than likely take place <laughs> you book a baby <laughs> um not me talking in baby babble but she's stuffy I just sprayed her nose with saline and gave her her dose of um, Tylenol and cold medicine for congestion. My lawyer's <coughs> taking Tamiflu. I've made him homemade ginger tea. I made homemade chicken noodle soup. Um, I gave him some liquid IV. Yeah, um, I think seeing him down and out got me more hurt than seeing her. It, both of it hurt. Birth, bleh. Both of it really hurts to watch. It brings tears to my eyes. But seeing my Lord, like, just extremely down and out. Mm, that's a different type of, like, pain to watch. Um, but anyway, I wanted to end the vlog. Um... Just want to let y'all know that I love y'all. And I'm so grateful that I am able to be home to take care of my family. I was telling my Lord if I worked, you know, they would write me up for calling out because my daughter has COVID. So, Alina's struggling really bad right now because she's congested. She's doing so good, though, because when I'm congested, baby, the world going to hear about it. But... Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of hard to enjoy, I'm sure. But, um, yeah, I'll probably see y'all in about a week. I am going to use the next close to seven days, probably about seven days, to just um, focus on my family, focus on myself, and most importantly, focus on the most high. Y'all, look at my house. Look at my house. It's a hot mess. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at my house. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> we are poor Simba. He he in his room. He gotta be in his room, y'all. I need to um refill his water and give him some wet food. I'm not doing that till tonight though. <sighs> Look at the house. Just look. Y'all know I'm a down bad if my house looks like this. <sighs>